Hey guys, Crispy here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my official living room tour. So the living room is my favorite room in the house. This is where we spend all of our time and when I first saw the house, this was the room that I really fell in love with. I did have the challenge of filling a really big room. I came from my apartment with like one couch and a coffee table. Here's some pictures of the living room when it was empty. And it's funny how even though the room was empty and it only had a couple pieces in it, it actually looks smaller than it does when it's all the way filled up. So I already had my white couch. This is the Ventura couch from Z Gallery. I really didn't want another white couch to be honest, but I thought it would be cool if I actually got the same couch in the same style and I wanted to do a monochrome theme. So I wanted to do the black, white, and the gray and I thought it would kind of marry the different pieces together and make it make sense. So I ordered the same couch from Z Gallery in a charcoal fabric. I had the two blue accent chairs, but like I said, I was really, I was really attached to this monochrome idea. So I found these two black chairs from Restoration Hardware. What I really love about these chairs, which makes them feel luxurious, but at the same time they're comfy, is the brass detailing on them. When you first walk in the house, that's the view you see. So it's really nice that it has that tea back detailing because it feels very deliberate and finished. For the coffee table, I have two wooden espresso colored coffee tables that I pushed together. It was really cool because when I went to Restoration Hardware, I had the dimensions of my couches and a designer there helped me do a CAD design to see what would fit. So we figured that two of these tables pushed together is actually the best fit for the room. So another focal point of the room is the couch against the French doors. And I actually found a little end table from Amazon. It was like $60. And I wanted to just put something there so that I could put a plant back there because it just frames this whole scene very nicely. And then underneath that table, I have some baskets where we keep our blankets for when we want to watch movies. And that's also where I keep the dog's baskets of all their toys. So there's that kind of focal point against the French doors, but there is another focal point, which is against this white couch, which is my favorite. I actually got this idea from Restoration Hardware, which is to put a big mirror and put the paintings on either side. And actually it's crazy because when I first got everything in and saw it, something wasn't fitting. And it was because I had the gray couch here instead of the white. And it really needed to be framed against the white to get that feel that I wanted. So the big mirror is from Restoration Hardware. It almost has like a vintage feel with the ornate frame. And then the paintings I actually did myself. I love to paint anyways, and I just thought it would be cool to do it myself. I thought that would be like a little cool DIY moment. So yeah, I busted out my acrylic paint, did some abstract paintings, got the frames from Michaels, and had someone hang them for me. So when we moved in, this room had a crystal chandelier, which there's nothing wrong with it, but it kind of didn't fit the vibe of what I started doing in here. So I swapped it out for this brass chandelier from Restoration Hardware 2. My brother calls it the Harry Potter light. I really love the lamps in here. These are also from Restoration Hardware. When I first went in, I was gonna get white lampshades and it was actually that designer who recommended the black and I'm so glad she did because it feels like really different and modern. At nighttime, it gives a really warm, comfy light. So I wanted to put tons of plants and flowers in here. I just get a ton of orchids in here and place them all over. The big guy in the corner, which I get so many questions about, that is actually from Restoration Hardware. It's like an eight foot banana leaf tree, but it really goes in this room because the ceilings are so tall, it helps bring a lot of height. And I just went ahead and stuck that guy in a pot from Home Depot. So the window treatments in this room, there are so many windows and when we first moved in, there was no, there was nothing on the windows. We opted to get electric blinds for this room. So it's really nice because at nighttime you just hit one button and they all go down. 
I did want to do some side panels, but I wanted them to be shears. I went through loftcurtains.com, not sponsored. I got a quote from the same company that did the electric blinds, and they tried to charge me like three or four times as much as going through loft curtains and doing it myself. So I just took the measurements. I bought the little rods from Bed Bath & Beyond and had someone come hang them for me, and it was super easy. For the coffee table, I have just a bunch of little knickknacks. Um, I try to do it kind of in like four, like one thing on each corner-ish. Oh, another accessory, I can't believe I forgot to mention this almost, is these black accent pillows. And I was actually able to find these accent pillows from Target. At any point, you can swap them out and kind of change the feel of things. But I feel like it's a really great way to bring all of the black elements together. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I upload a new video, and I will see you next time. Bye.